Hey guys, even here and in this video we have something very interesting, we have Ivy Pro League head judge Steve Weinberger breaking down the top competitors at a Mr. Olympia and there are a couple of very interesting things that he says, it's not very often that we hear Steve Weinberger talk about this stuff and he is the head judge, he has probably the most influence on what is gonna happen that day uh, aside from competitors of course and guys like me who have YouTube channels who try to analyze these shows and these bodybuilders, we only speculate, we don't really know, but Steve Weinberger is the guy that is sitting right there in the first row judging these guys, making decisions, and so it is very interesting to hear his insight in what he thinks who's gonna place where at the Mr. Olympia and why things were the way they were last year. So in this video, I will show you a couple of parts of this video where Steve Weinberger basically breaks down a couple of very interesting bodybuilders, interesting to me, like Big Ramy, of course, he's interesting to everybody because he is the champ, and then also Nick Walker, I found that very interesting, and you know, it might be changing my prediction <laughs> for the Mr. Olympia, so before we get to that, I'm gonna show you what he has to say about Big Ramy first, check this out. Big Ramy last year was very disappointing in prejudging, was not in the condition he should have been in, he honestly was lucky he squeaked out a win. Brandon Curry was all over him. He has to come in condition. I think he worries too much about being big Rami instead of lean, mean Rami. <clears throat> Excuse me, and that hurt him. He did not look good at prejudging. He looked better at the night show, and that saved him. If he looked the same way he looked prejudging at night show, I believe Brandon would have been Mr. Olympia. Whoa. I mean, size and shape he has, but when he came in as big as he did, his shape actually hurt him, and his condition hurt him. When he's, when he's lean, he has beautiful shape. When he comes in a little too big, it throws his shape off. Pictures I saw around me, he looks extremely dangerous. Wow, I don't know about you guys, but I was kind of surprised when I heard Brandon was actually pushing Big Ramy that much, that he was actually very close to winning the Mr. Olympia last year, and they still gave it to Big Ramy, even though he was very disappointing as Steve Weinberger says. Uh, before we get to what he thinks about Brandon Curry and where he's gonna place this year, I wanna show you real quick what the Dennis James says about Big Ramy and what he's looking like, what he's weighing right now this year, and basically what Dennis thinks uh, Big Ramy is gonna do at the Mr. Olympia. Check this out. Friday was close, I guess it was one point between him and Brandon, and Saturday he slammed the door shut. He dropped like six, seven pounds from Friday to Saturday. Because yeah. he was... On Saturday, he was 279. That was his lightest. That was, he was yeah. almost the same weight as he was at the, at the New Year Pro in 2013. Fast forward to now, you know, he was able to bring his weight, he could get his weight up to way over 150 kilos. We're talking like in the, in the 40s, 340s, almost yeah. 350. And he was already in great shape. Alright, so based on Dennis James, it looks like Big Ramy did his homework. And by the way, guys, you wanna check out the full interview, it's on RX Muscle, and the interview with Steve Weinberger is on Muscle and Fitness YouTube channel. So check those out. But this is this right here is the photo of Big Ramy eight weeks out of Mr. Olympia. So what Steve Weinberger basically says is that last year Big Ramy was not in condition and he says that he was big but then he says that big ram is much much bigger this year that he went up to 350 almost in the off season and as you can see this was at, at eight weeks out and he was already very very conditioned and very very big so it looks like big ram is going to be bigger much much bigger and as far as conditioning he was sort of ready early like he was very conditioned at this point for example at eight weeks out and if everything went well for him during this prep he's going to be probably in his best condition of all time and probably at his biggest at the same time so it looks like big ram is probably not gonna lose at this point i'm sorry i have to say that but you know it really seems like it because last year uh, he was he was close to brandon and still they gave it to him but now he's gonna be much much better i don't know how much the other guys will be improved but you know it seems like big ram is going to win again and based on the way Chad Nichols is feeding him, this was on Big Ramy's story, as you can see, at five days out of Mr. Olympia, he was eating pizza. So Chad Nichols wouldn't give him pizza if they were in quote-unquote panic mode. 
if he was late with his conditioning, the only reason, the only logical explanation that I could come up with why Big Ram is eating pizza at five days out is because he's dropping weight way too fast, he's getting too lean too fast, and his coach doesn't want him to lose that fullness. I don't know how smart it is to play with cheat meals at five days out, who knows how much salt, how much sodium is in that pizza, but I guess Chad Nichols knows what he's doing, and I'm sure they already figured this out, they probably fed him cheat meals very often during the prep, so I'm sure it's all fine, but this means one thing, you know, for sure, Big Ramy is not late with conditioning, and we can expect him to be shredded on that stage. Alright, now let's go back to Steve Weinberger and let me show you what he has to say about Brandon Curry real quick and then we will move on to Nick Walker. Check this out. But before that, real quick, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a competitor myself. I compete and I live bodybuilding pretty much every day. And there is one thing you need to know about me. I'm a supplement freak. I love supplements. And Old School Labs has some of the best supplements out there. For example, Vintage Brawn. I love the taste of this protein. And it's also a complete amino acid type of protein because it's beef isolate, egg white protein and whey protein. And it tastes delicious. This is one of my favorite flavors, banana milkshake. So there is a link down below and you can use the code EVAN to support me and my channel. So if you guys, if you like this video, if you like this channel, you can support me by trying one of the Old School Labs supplements. And if you use the code EVAN, you get a 15% discount. So check it out, guys. The link is down below. Thank you very much. He was in great condition. He has great shape. He could still use a little more leg. If he could bring his legs up just a little bit, if he brings them up just a little more, he's a dangerous guy. All right, so he didn't really go into details as far as Brandon Curry, but previously when he talked about Big Ramy, he pretty much said that he was he almost won the Mr. Olympia last year. And for some reason, many people, including myself, have Brandon dropping this year. And they have some other people placing ahead of him. For example, Nick Walker. So I personally had Nick Walker winning the Mr. Olympia in my prediction video. Now let me show you. Let's hear what Steve Weinberger has to say about Nick Walker. Nick is a mass monster. Shape is not his forte. His forte is muscle and conditioning. And we'll see what he looks like this year. I mean, I don't know if he could honestly improve on his shape. If he can, that'll, I'll take my hat off to him, but he's got that body that is just a, like, a, like a monster, just a dinosaur. Full yeah. of muscle and full of veins. Yeah. He's a better version of Marcus Rule. He has better shape than Marcus Rule, but he has that Marcus Rule muscularity. He really does. And it does look like, though, he has toned his waist down or grown that. That's what he needed to do the most because his waist was a little bit on the thick side, to tell you the truth. And that's how Hunter bypassed him last year. All right, so this was very interesting to hear, you know, coming from Steve Weinberger. Pretty much we already knew most of this stuff. Like, Nick Walker is a mass monster, his shape is not his forte, but he does have a ton of muscle, and interestingly, he compares him to Marcus Rule, and he adds that he has better shape than Marcus Rule, probably better conditioning as well, and he has the, that kind of muscle, that kind of mass. So, you know, for me, that is kind of, like, enough to potentially win the Mr. Olympia, and he says that he needs to change his shape, that's what he needed to do, and he thinks that it's very hard to do that, it rarely ever happens, and we all know that, but it seems like, in this offseason, it seems like Nick actually worked on that, and he improved his shape. It really looks like his waist is down, and based on his previous coach, Dom Super Sliced, he says that Nick's waist actually went down, uh, I think two and a half inches or an inch and a half, something like that, but it is definitely down, and he is heavier, so he added more muscle to his back, to his shoulders, to his arms, and everywhere, basically in his quads, so it's gonna create that much bigger illusion of having a smaller waist. So I believe he actually changed his shape. The question is, is it going to be enough to overpass somebody like Big Ram? You know, it's going to be a really tough challenge, but, you know, because of conditioning, I can, I can see it happening. It's not super likely, but in my prediction, I have Nick, and I'm standing behind it. I think he's going to win based on all I saw, but I did see this one photo that I didn't really like at all. 
it was posted by the photographer that took all these other high quality photos of him that are circling around the internet these days and this one Nick did not post he did not like it and he shouldn't like it he didn't want this to be out in public apparently but you know it's out there and when I saw this I thought you know he really does have bad shape you know that waist is kind of wide and he doesn't have the best weed taper you know blasting a lot of people likes to call Nick brick Nick the brick so I, I can see that you know he is kind of squarish so I hope he won't do this pose this way with his uh, knee locked because it just shows how 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 brick like his physique is how much he's missing that we taper so he can hide that with posing with good posing and this is one pose that he needs to skip or do it a little bit differently because this doesn't look very good but take a look at this one again I mean, look at the conditioning, like, look at how dry he is, take a look at his obliques, his stomach, I mean, I compete myself, and I have gotten pretty shredded for my shows, and I'm a classy guy, of course, I'm, like, three times smaller than Nick, but even though I get very conditioned, I don't think I ever get this kind of dryness in, in my stomach area, or the side leg, the, 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 the hamstrings, I look at the abductors, like, he's super dry everywhere, he has no fat on his body, basically, and he is five days out, so he's a, he's going to dry out and carb up, and you know, that's gonna be freaking impressive, he's gonna have really, really dominant presence on that stage, even though he doesn't have the best structure, I still believe he, he has enough of that freak factor, enough tools in his shed to actually win this show. Now, back to Steve Weinberg and what he said about last year's Mr. Olympia and why Nick placed fifth instead of Hunter Labrada. Well, we finally got an explanation. We already pretty much knew this, but now we got it, like, officially. It was because of the waist, simply. It was not because of conditioning, we know that. And as far as muscularity, I guess they were kind of close, but I think Nick was still a little bit more muscular, but, you know, very close. However, the waistline was the actual reason why Hunter beat Nick. It was not muscularity, it most certainly was not conditioning, it was simply the waist size. So if Nick improves that a little bit, he will surpass many guys, and he might go all the way up to the top and win that show. I think it's still possibility. Even though Steve Weinberger doesn't seem like he believes that too much, I think he sees uh, Big Ram and Brandon Curry again battling for that first spot, and because he feels that way, it's most likely going to be the case. But me personally, if I was a head judge, I would not have said that. Of course, you know, he's a much bigger expert and <laughs> not even comparable. And he's standing there, he's seeing these guys from the first row. So probably we should trust him, but I will stick to what I said. I still have Nick Walker winning this year's Mr. Olympia, despite what uh, Steve Weinberger had to say. Whatever you guys think about uh, Steve Weinberger's analysis and my analysis, my prediction, you can tell me down below in the comment section. Mr. Olympia is happening in a couple of days. And guys, you're gonna have a bunch of content on this channel about the Mr. Olympia, after Mr. Olympia as well. So guys, stay tuned, subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.